to my channel. Now that was a clip from R&B singer Jeff Red. Now if you saw the clip, that means YouTube let it go through. If not, that means I was flagged. This is the story of R&B singer Jeff Red. Jeff Red is an American R&B singer who performed New Jack Swing style R&B music in the late 80s and early 90s. A New York City native, Jeff began singing with the short-lived group, The Sophisticated Gents, at the age of 17 in the mid-1980s. He also appeared on Sesame Street to sing a song demonstrating between. Jeff Red signed a record deal with Uptown Records, MCA Records, after Andre Harrell saw him perform as a solo artist. Uptown is also the home of Heavy D and the Boys, another Mount Vernon act. Uptown produced his 1990 debut album, A Quiet Storm. It includes the up simple New Jack Swing tracks, I Found Lovin' and Come and Get Your Lovin' in the ballad, Love High. Two of the album singles found their way onto the Billboard R&B chart. What Goes Around Comes Around reached number 53 and Love High reached number 16. The album, A Quiet Storm, had major producers such as Devontae Swing from Jodeci and Timmy Allen as well as the Untouchables Dave Jam Hall and Eddie F. He released a song entitled you Called and Told Me from the movie Strictly Business soundtrack in 1991. The song samples Catch the Beat by T-Ski Valley. Uptown produced his 1990 debut album, A Quiet Storm. It includes the up-simple New Jack Swing tracks, I Found Lovin' and Come and Get Your Lovin' in the ballad, Love High. Two of the album singles found their way onto the Billboard R&B chart. What Goes Around Comes Around reached number 53 and Love High reached number 16. The album, A Quiet Storm, had major producers such as Devontae Swain from Jodeci and Timmy Allen, as well as the Untouchables Dave Jam Hall and Eddie F. He released a song entitled You Called and Told Me from the movie Strictly Business soundtrack in 1991. The song samples Catch the Beat by T-Ski Valley. Jeff played a large part in getting then unknown singer Mary J. Blige her start in the music business. Before his deal with the Uptown label went into full effect, he remained employed as an ensembler at General Motors in nearby Terrytown. He met Mary's stepfather, who gave him a demo tape of her performing Anita Baker's Caught Up in the Rapture. After hearing the tape, Jeff helped her get signed to Uptown Records. Mary J. Blige then toured with Jeff as one of his background singers. In 1994, he recorded a second album, Down Low. However, before the album could see release, E in My America, shut down the entire black music department. As a result, very few copies ever circulated. Some of the tracks on the album were produced by rapper Lord Finesse. Jeff Red then went on to work as an A&R executive at MCA Records. While at MCA, Jeff worked with artists such as Regina Bell and Casey and JoJo. When MCA closed their doors in 2003, he established his own independent label, Soul Real Records, under his banner. Jeff currently works with artists such as Akili, Black Rose and Forever, among others. In 2007, he released a compilation album entitled Jeff Red Presents The Essence of Soul, a sampler which features tracks from each of these artists. In April 2010, he released Take You Higher. Jeff Red didn't achieve the pop success of contemporaries such as Guy or fellow Mount Vernon native Albie Short, but he put his mark on the New Jack Swing era and was a major behind the scenes figure afterwards. There really wasn't much info on Mr. Red, but I will assume that he's still working behind the scenes in the music business. Okay, y'all. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.